Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Estimators Ready to Scale Your Business. My name is Lou Irene. I'm with The Edge. I am joined by James Mack with McCormick. We're both regional sales managers. You can see our contact information hopefully on the screen. You can take screenshots of that. Also, where you uh, logged into the call, you're gonna have a couple of handouts available for you to click on, as well as an area for you to ask your questions. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about <clears throat> scaling your business, uh, growth, business growth, and uh, some growing pains as well. Um, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things to consider when making changes to scale your business. Some things maybe to move away from in order to scale, and also things to implement in your business. Right, so let's get started. All right, so uh, my name is Lou. I'm with the Estimating Edge. Estimating Edge is software for creating your bids, creating that contract dollar amount. And essentially the software works like this. As you do your takeoff, uh, it creates that contract dollar amount. It's creating um, material lists. It's gonna calculate your productions. It's gonna bring in material pricing multiply everything across, bring in markups to add on to those totals and get you that contract dollar amount. That's essentially what the estimating edge is all about. What we're going to talk about today is how to scale your business and conversations we've had with customers and prospects, things that they're struggling with. And um, the main area to start off with is probably our number one competitor in the industry. It's spreadsheets. Uh, spreadsheets is typically where everyone gets started. You typically can get Excel pretty inexpensively, right? It's cheap or free in some cases and uh, simple, you know, very easy to use. Uh, the issue with it is not scalable. You know, we've seen these spreadsheets kind of grow, grow in size. Um, grow in complexity and eventually you have one person that understands everything inside of that spreadsheet. So some of the problems that you end up with, you know, different material prices, um, maybe even different names of material on separate spreadsheets or you're trying to make copies of spreadsheets when you have multiple estimators. Um, and then you get maybe pricing in, in several locations. Then the same with uh, doing your labor production calculations. Um, a lot of this is, you know, ultimately estimator opinion, but um, a lot of times when you have separate spreadsheets or multiple spreadsheets, this creates, creates a little bit of an issue with uh, um, keeping all of your estimates being built out the same way. So one of the solutions for this type of setup and this type of scenario is a centralized database. So here at The Edge, what we do is work with our customers on creating that centralized database. We also um, are able to provide that database accessible to them um, from the cloud. So everything is stored in the cloud makes jobs more accessible, and makes a centralized database accessible uh, from multiple locations. So what that's doing is it's keeping all of the material uh, names the same, all the prices for the material. It's uh, one price instead of having multiple locations for everything. So that that is one of the ways that, um, you know, getting multiple spreadsheets kind of centralized um, is able to help out. Now, this allows multiple estimators to be in one job at the same time as well. 
So now what you're able to do is also have um, maybe one estimator working on one aspect of the bid and another estimator can be working on another aspect, a separate aspect of the bid, which helps get that bid out the door more quickly. This setup also allows for the bid to be reviewed easier. Um, so so that's, that's kind of what you're looking at is being able to move from spreadsheets or consider moving from spreadsheets uh, into more of a software setup where you're able to access the data and have multiple estimators inside of the program. Um, and then also be able to standardize that estimation process. As you standardize that estimation process, what you're doing is you're also standardizing how you create reports you're standardizing communication with the field. And as these things are all done one specific way, you're kind of creating more uniformity. So obviously the key is everyone estimates the same way. So it's easy to kind of plug in new estimators into the system. And when you lose an estimator uh, or an estimator leaves, um, you haven't completely lost the person who is in charge of that particular spreadsheet. Okay, so so there's a, there's a few things. What I'm doing is I'm basically just kind of going through the list here on your screen. So little by little, I'm gonna make my way to the bottom. The, the next thing I'm gonna talk about here is tracking from the field. So in in our program, what we're doing is doing the estimation process, making that information available for you in the cloud. And then from the field, you can access that data in the cloud. So you can track against an estimate while in the field. Now, of course, uh, you know, most people are doing some kind of tracking, particularly for billing. I mean, everyone is doing some kind of tracking to see where are we in the project, when to submit the next bill, um, invoicing, that sort of thing. And, and so I'm not trying to be Captain Obvious here, but, but once you have that data stored in the cloud and you're able to access it against the estimate where you're doing calculations against the estimate, which is also a service that we provide, you can now track against an actual production rate so what does that mean? Example here, uh, let's say I'm just gonna pick a trade randomly, like maybe you're a painter and uh, your production rate in this example as a painter is calculated by a lineal foot. <clears throat> and we'll say your lineal foot of wall per hour. And in this example that I'm just kind of creating now, uh, let's say it's 125 lineal feet per hour that you used as your production calculation. Once you're able to track against that data, you can now see how many lineal feet per hour you've actually accomplished. So that can help you determine, in reality, are you at 123 or are you at 127? Are you a little bit ahead or are you a little bit behind? And if you can see this at an hourly basis, you're going to know pretty quickly into the project whether right now today you're ahead or you're behind. And that is also very helpful information when scaling your business. Next, keeping uh, with the field communication theme, our customers have reports that are being created as they're doing the takeoff. That's what that's what the edge estimation software does. And they're available for them in the cloud. So what customers are able to do from the field is grab those reports from from the cloud. So they don't have to go back to the office, print something out. It's easily accessible. If you're doing any sort of changes, um, you can quickly communicate change orders back to the field as well. 
Okay, so next. Um, also, in this light of scalability and estimation growing pains, um, I highly encourage you to pay attention to all of your different softwares and see what that level of communication is in between them and see if you can increase the communication between them. As an example, can your uh, estimating process or can your estimating software push budgets into your accounting platform? Um, can it communicate with your CRM? These are other ideas of things that are helping our customers now um, with scalability because it's helping that data flow through the business. It's helping them see um, certain cycle times being decreased along the way. So less time keying in by hand to set up the budget, um, you know, things like that. So those, hopefully those are a couple of uh, different ideas there to kind of show you different opportunities that you might have for being able to scale your business. Um, all right. I think now, James, do you need me to switch the... Yeah, can you switch us to the next? All right. There we go. Good okay. deal. Can you hear me all right, Lou? Yeah, I can hear awesome. you perfectly awesome. fine. Awesome, Lou. Uh, thanks for the, the intro. Um, again, my name is James Mack with McCormick Systems. Um, I've been here about 10 years. I've kind of been in uh, the construction industry my, my entire life, construction management. Um, and yeah, we just you know wanted to kind of share uh, some of our thoughts here uh, today about uh, you know how um, uh, estimating uh, software um, uh, can help you know grow your business, can help scale your business. So. Um, you know, McCormick's been around for, for 43 years. We are part of, part of the, uh, the foundation family and, and you know, our, our, the, uh, is our uh, kind of, you know, that, there's our connection to, to edge estimating uh, in case that wasn't obvious here. But, uh, um, you know, in, in order to grow, you know, you, you've got to have systems in place, right? Uh, we can't just be uh, winging it every time we, we put a bit together. So, um, you know, oftentimes I, I talk with owners uh, who wear a lot of hats and, and maybe they're also uh, the estimator uh, and in some cases as well. Uh, you know, time really becomes a critical factor for everybody, and, and that's where, where software can really help. Um, you know, additionally, if, if you're, um, you know, employing an estimator, um, that, that's important, too. As, as an employer, we want to make sure our, our employees are doing their job, uh, you know, as efficiently uh, and, uh, you know, as, as quickly, I guess, and, and accurately uh, uh, as important. Um, you know, as they, they possibly can. So again, that, that's where, where software sort of uh, comes into play. So, um, you know, how, how can estimating software help? So the, the obvious, thing, obvious things are your database, right? We're gonna give you a consistent set of data uh, with uh, consistent labor units, which really are, are you know, where jobs are, are won and lost, right? Um, same goes with profits, you know, that's often tied to labor. So you've got um, numbers, uh, consistent numbers you're working from, which which can be um, manipulated uh, on a job to job basis. So they're 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 set uh, in a sense. Not, at the same time, not rigid, right? We we can um, we have things in place that can help you account for. Um, you know, different uh, uh, scopes or the levels of difficulty, et cetera. So, and, and these are things you're not just pulling out of thin air, right? Uh, where if I'm working off of a lift uh, 40 feet in the air, there's a there's a specified amount of uh, time that we're going to add in, in that situation. Um, and, you know, we can, we can do that on a consistent basis and we can have record of that uh, in our estimate. So, um, you know, that kind of leads me to the, the next part of this is when we, when we use the system, uh, you've got historical data to access. You have a trail you can follow. You know, when I go back to review this estimate I put together, 
how did I come up with these numbers? Uh, if I'm working off the, the notepad or the spreadsheet, that's going to be much more difficult to determine, um, you know, as I, as I go back through and review, you know, where those things came from, uh, whether I'm reviewing it the, the pre-bid process or, um, you know, as, as Lou was talking about kind of tracking things or uh, going back and uh, doing an audit or evaluating, you know, how things went or are going, um, a system, an estimating system is going to give you uh, that data to work from. So, so a lot of the points that Lou touched on are, are, are completely relevant uh, with McCormick. And, I, and I'll just try to hit on some, some different areas. But, you know, time savings is going to be the big thing. Um, that consistency uh, in, in the data you're pulling from is going to, of course, be another. Um, you know, we, we, we want to streamline that process. You know, and we're going to need that consistency uh, in order to do that. Um, we're going to need that consistency in order to uh, perfect the process. Um, you know, how do we make adjustments as, um, as we evolve um, in, our, uh, in our estimating to kind of, you know, dial ourselves in the further we go. Um, you know, we, we're, if we're getting feedback on our, our estimates, on our bids that we've submitted, we, we want to be able to make accurate adjustments in the program. Again, pulling from, um, you know, the, the eight and a half by 11 uh, notepad, you know, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to, to, to do things like that. So um, this is definitely going to set you up uh, in the long term um, to help you be uh, more accurate with this stuff. So um, reporting is going to be huge. Um, you know, what kind of reporting can you do uh, from your Excel file? And uh, as Lou mentioned on this too, I've seen some pretty crazy ones, uh, some uh, some pretty impressive uh, Excel uh, spreadsheets that people have put together. But uh, as he said, uh, it's usually one or two people that know how to navigate that thing. And uh, people, uh, Companies tend to want to get away from those because uh, because of, of that, it just doesn't give them that um, you know across the board uh, comfort or familiarity with this, with the system. No one really understands um, what's going on except for maybe a couple people in the company. So we're going to give you accurate reporting that makes sense to everyone uh, in a program. And we are of course tied to pricing services. You know, as, as many estimating software um, you know products are. And um, you know that's going to give you real-time pricing uh, in the program. Can connect you directly with suppliers. So again, it's all about speeding things up. Um, just a you know quick mention of design. I don't know if any of you do design build. Um, you know, we have a great program that can uh, not only you know lay the job out for you. Um, or enable you to lay it out, but it will estimate for you as you're laying that out. So you're, we're eliminating steps. I've designed the job, and now my estimate has been uh, put together, uh, you know, as I've designed it. Um, and then a lot of us uh, are doing some conceptual estimating. Maybe we get asked to, hey, I'm, I'm putting together an 8,000 square foot TI. I need a budget number on that. Uh, no one wants to spend a day putting a budget number together on uh, a job that may or may not happen, right? Um, we do want to try to accommodate uh, our, our clients uh, when they, these things come up. Is there a way we can do that um, without shooting ourselves in the foot? Uh, one of those methods is you know, uh, estimating by square feet. We can use a, a light, a medium, a heavy density um, <clears throat> per square foot uh, price uh, that will give you, uh, enable you to give uh, budget numbers uh, to people in literally a couple of minutes. Um, so, you know, sure, I'll give you a, a, a budget on that 8,000 square foot TI. Uh, I'll get back to you within an hour. And you could actually provide them with a material list as well. So, yes, here's my, here's my number, all right? And, and okay, now they have a budget in mind, but you're also telling them with that number, this is what would be included. Um, so, again, just uh, things that can help really speed the process up for you. Um, it's all about saving time and being consistent and, and being accurate. So. Um, uh, one last thing I, I want to mention, uh, just like estimating Edge McCormick uh, is going to be in the cloud. So uh, if you have multiple people potentially collaborating on projects or just multiple people uh, in the system, you can access from anywhere. Uh, you can collaborate. Uh, everything is automatically networked. So uh, if this is a case where we want a couple of people in the same job at the same time, um, you know, to trying to uh, knock out a, an estimate very, very quickly. 
um, you know, we've kind of ganged up on this and we needed to get it out uh, in, a, in a much uh, faster manner, maybe than normal. Um, you know, you certainly can do that. You could see each other's takeoff going into the program real time, even if you wanted to. So point is, it's interconnected. Uh, everyone, you know, can have quick access to everything um, and you can collaborate um, uh, on projects. So uh, great benefit from, you know, uh, being on the cloud. So really, you know, there, there's other things we talk about. I, I think Lou really touched on uh, core things that are also applicable to, to McCormick in many ways. And, and hopefully I added a little bit of, uh, you know, a couple things for you to think about, um, you know, and I'm sure Lou will close us out here as we, we get to the end, but, um, you know, we're, we're talking about our, our systems that we have, our, our products. We would love to, you know, have the opportunity to run you through these, uh, give you a comprehensive look uh, of how these work, how these can help. Um, so, you know, if you do want to uh, run in, uh, through a more comprehensive demo, maybe spend a half hour, 45 minutes or more uh, in the system, get a real feel for it, we are we're happy to do that for you. All right, Lou, anything else you wanted to add in here? Um, no, I mean, really just hoping that that uh, is providing some food for thought on on scaling the business. Um, like you were kind of saying, uh, on this slide now here on the bottom left side, if you'd like to see a little bit more, um, we have a demo video. You could do a screenshot to take a, a little bit more of a look at the edge. But if you want to go through um, with someone and ask questions along the way, uh, then, yeah, reach out to us at sales at foundationsoft.com. Awesome. Thanks, Lou. And if uh, before we go, if anyone has any questions, uh, there is a chat. Uh, probably should have mentioned this before, but there is a, a, a oh. uh, chat section in the controls. It's OK. And, um, um, you know, just if you want anything addressed now, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, but again, our information uh, is here as well. Uh, feel free to to reach out. Uh, Lou, was our email on that first slide that we had? Just if you want to put that up there again. It was. And then we also have. Oh, you had the email uh, right there. Okay, that's fine. Okay. As well. Yep. Handouts are also available. All right, very good. There we go. The email addresses. Awesome. Well, I think we're good. I don't see any questions or comments here. Uh, we appreciate everyone taking the time to... Uh, uh, to listen to us today. And uh, again, definitely follow up uh, if we can help you moving forward.